Entertained. Hello and welcome to Were You Not Entertained. I'm Daniel. I'm Rachel. And I'm James. And we're going to be jumping into Space Jam. And yes, I said jumping because it's you know basketball and tunes. So you got to jump. A new legacy. A new legacy. Yep. Not the original. Not the original. Because you're burying the lead there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, they did click on this probably. Well, <laughs> I would hope so. They have, well, just, I mean, maybe we're just maybe randomly they just, paying. They just love our voices, and so they just like put it on autoplay and listen to them continuously yeah. without checking the episode. I don't know. No, that's totally it. That, that's yeah. that's Definitely. how we get our, our plays. Dulcet Some tones. we get we get all of our downloads and plays by people not pl- paying attention to what they're listening to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> People forgetting that they subscribed, and so every episode just auto downloads. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so this is like a reimagining mm-hmm. of Space Jam. It's, it is. Yeah. It's pretty similar in a lot of ways. It's basketball and a famous basketball star with the Looney Tunes. Okay, exactly. so that's, that's about as similar. As, it's that's not about pretty similar. Where it ends. That's about as similar as it gets. They're both I mean, basketball movies. That's pretty similar. Yes, it has it has tunes in it. The same tunes. It has mm-hmm. a professional basketball player mm-hmm. and the best basketball they, uh, player of the generation. I'll right. say that. Yeah. And spoiler, you have to play basketball to save the world. Right. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> Shocker. Yeah. I love that it wasn't the aliens, though. Yeah, I, I thought that was a pretty cool twist. That it yeah. was, we'll mm-hmm. go ahead and spoiler alert. Not that it's much of a spoiler, but. Since I'm thinking about things that are in the movie, it's going to happen. Um, right. But I, I thought it was pretty cool that they made it an AI. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely more fitting for the times and what most Hollywood is doing nowadays. So, Yeah, but it wasn't like some, you know, it's not like Eagle Eye, you know, some homicidal AI that is trying to basically kill everybody so that the world could be a perfect place or, you know. <laughs> Well, no, it's more of a like arrogant, a, petulant child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> it's probably about it. <laughs> way more likely to be the problem with AI. It is very right. vaguely sort of like what they did with Jumanji, where you took something that was a little more classic and you made mm-hmm. it about video games. Yeah. 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 Which I think is awesome. I think it's fun and it's much more relative. I think relevant relevant yeah okay (laughs) english but i think for like kids today it would be more relatable to see this and it also has sort of a different message Mm -hmm. this isn't so much about the fate of the looney tunes as a message about you know letting your kid be your kid do you Mm -hmm. i thought that was pretty cool and i I don't know anything about LeBron James. I'll start with that. And so to see him as this kind of funny, cringy dad in the beginning was really funny and unexpected for me. Yeah, I I can see that. Um, I, I've i paid it to enough attention to LeBron James. Le, Le, English for me too. <laughs> LeBron James to know that he's really charismatic and you know I was not super worried about him carrying a movie with a bunch of you know funny looney tunes. I, I figured that they would do the heavy lifting for the for the humor that right. and he'd be there for some of the slapstick. Um but it I was actually really kind of surprised by this movie. I wasn't expecting to like it. Um it's just not really my thing. And While I didn't walk away going, it completely changed my mind. It was, it had great visuals. That's one thing. Wow. Looked incredible. Um, They pulled out all of the stops. I mean, this is a giant Warner Brothers advertisement. Yes, it is. Um, Yeah. But they got, they picked the right stuff to get me, you know, like adding in the Matrix. That was a big one. Yeah. Um, Yeah. We'll get into that later. Um, just the way that they did it and then the level of humor I thought was was good. I I laughed pretty heartily a couple times. And then I I don't know, the message is what sh- kind of shocked me. Um I just didn't expect them to go so hard on it 
And while usually that doesn't work, I don't feel like that was necessarily bad here because it was clearly a kid's movie. And I wouldn't be shocked if maybe this started a couple of healthy conversations on the drive home. Yeah, it was definitely like a kid empowerment film. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. it was more of a like a message to parents is pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's interesting. And I even think with a lot of the characters they picked for the sidelines in the basketball tournament and things, it felt very parent driven in a sense or like older kids whatever yeah. you would call them, young adults. Game of, Yeah, Game of Thrones. White yeah. Walkers and Pennywise behind. Yeah. And then even having the Iron Giant and Space Ghost floating around. Yeah. King Kong. I mean, they, yeah. they really did. They put everything in this. Mm-hmm. And I liked that. I liked that they had some of the more, I hesitate to say obscure, but things like Space Ghost that most people aren't going to remember right, right. off the bat. So. I was impressed with that, and I loved how you shifted through all the worlds. That was a really fun ride. Yeah. Yeah. And Don Cheadle. He made such a cool bad guy. (laughs) Al G. Don Cheadle makes such a cool whatever guy he decides to play. I love Don Cheadle. Yeah, he was fun. and no wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I thought he was really good in this. Yeah, no, he. I think that he was a really good, a really good pick. I think it was a necessary pick for this movie not to be cringy. Right. Because that character could have been really cringy if the wrong person had played it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like you were saying earlier, he has to be a bit petulant, but he also can't just be goofy. Mm-hmm. Right. He can't be too much, and I think... Oh, and he can't be, like, super evil either. Yeah, I which think... Which is the other side of that. Somebody right. like Jim Carrey, who you would normally think of, would have been just a little too much. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he would be easy to... He wouldn't be able to sell himself to the sun as easily. Yeah, exactly. To Dom. Yeah. It was, um, it was a good pick by them. Yeah, yeah I was... I was pretty impressed by all the uh, all the actors that were in this. Yeah. I think they did a solid job. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody's winning an Oscar or anything, but uh, there wasn't anything that I was just like, do I have to watch you say another line? <laughs> I also wonder how much, I agree with you, I wonder how much of that, though, is me giving them a break because it was like, three quarters of the way in through the movie before I looked up to find out if that was actually his family or not. And so, Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. For a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure for the first three quarters of the movie, I thought that they were, weren't actors and they were civilians. I was like, they're doing a really good job. Like a yeah. really good job to the point where I had to be like, I'm going to look, are, are those actors or are those are <laughs> real family? Yeah. Well, so they're actors. Yeah. But to even speak on that, so but they were good. While that's true, because I had the same thought, I think really? that, yeah, I did, and I think that that just kind of goes to show you that they kind of acted like a family. Mm-hmm. They had good right? chemistry. There was good chemistry. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, was <clears throat> the delivery of all their lines bang on? Like I said, nobody's getting an Oscar for this movie. But they all had really good chemistry together, and I think they were all solid. They were Mm -hmm. were all solid choices. They all did a good job. So whoever uh, whoever was in charge of the casting, the casting, you know, a plus to you, (laughs) right? Yeah, and they had the right amount of other. I don't want to say extra characters, but other people in this, like having Wood Harris in the beginning. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Love Wood Harris. Um, But I also really loved the moment of, we found Michael Jordan. (laughs) Yeah, that was hilarious. It is Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan cameo. I thought that was a really fun cameo because he is so popular right now. Mm -hmm. It just makes it that much funnier. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I would have been pretty excited about it. Well, and I would think a lot of kids that aren't super into basketball, if you said Michael Jordan, that's who they think of first anyway. 
Maybe, yeah. I can see that. I mean, Killmonger. I was going to be really surprised if they pulled Michael Jordan. <laughs> I was like, you never no know. way. There's got to be some twist. It's also the Looney Tunes. So. Right, exactly. I don't expect Sylvester to have pulled that off. No. Uh, yeah, exactly. What's he going to do? Come in and give him some, yeah. some great halftime speech? That's not really going to fit. I would expect, if anything, he walks in and goes, oh, hell no, not again, and walk, and turn around and walk away <laughs> walk immediately. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What have y'all gotten into again? Right. Are the aliens back? No, it's an AI. Oh, you got this. <laughs> Just walk away. Yeah. And they did cameo the aliens. They did cameo the this. aliens. I thought yeah. that was cute. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciated their <laughs> their disappointment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that was great. It was, and overall, a really cool premise. Yeah, his basketball game looked really fun to play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so all of those, all of those good things aside, I do have a couple things that I'm like, uh. Eh. So to me, it started. What's your gripe, Daniel? Yeah, to me, it started pretty slow. Uh huh. I think yeah. the, fir- the first half of the movie, really, until they started, they started playing the actual tournament. We'll call it. Um, it was kind of slow for me. I mean, I know you have to do, you've got to do all your build up, and you know, you got to have the, the same practice, and you know. I, it adds things to the movie and I get that, but it wasn't as entertaining to like, just kind of watch that. I didn't like, excuse me. And I kind of, I think I know why they did it and it was kind of cool and it's in its own respects, but I liked the fact that in the first one, Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan the whole time. He didn't turn into a cartoon at any point. Mm. Uh, which is not how this happened, you know. Um, it from the from the very beginning when he gets sucked into what what do they what do they call it uh, AI land or what <laughs> I forget what yeah I don't remember oh I the, forgot algae rhythms world yeah the Warnerverse ah uh, anyway. Was it something like that? From whenever he gets sucked the into that That's the server verse yes. The serververse. Jeez, I don't know how I forgot that. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so like when he gets sucked into the server verse and then sent to sent to Toon Land, like I feel I feel like at that point, okay, fine. Make him a cartoon. But as soon as they leave and start doing stuff, he can stop being a cartoon now. And I, I feel like they just kind of hung on to that for too long. I thought it was... I understand why they did it. It was kind of cool, you know, have the animation portion of it and, you know, all of that. But I would have preferred him to just be him like the whole time. Right. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Um, And that's, you know, obviously just my opinion. I'm I'm just one person. But like I said, it was just one of those things that I was like, meh. Now, one thing that I could think about that is that might be pandemic related. Yeah, because you don't have to have him physically there to do that. You can have the animators work remotely and get his voice recording remotely. Yeah, no, that is true. And so maybe the extent at which that was in the movie was, you know, based off of. Yeah, that very well may be actually that could be part of it. But maybe they also just wanted to be sure to really separate it from the first or from the original. Yeah. Do something new, you know. You always got to jump the shark a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. And that was really—I mean, that was really kind of it for me. It was just a little slow at the beginning, you know. Wish LeBron was LeBron, you know, the majority of the time, as opposed to just half the time. Yeah, um, but yeah, no the the graphics and like the game itself that they created—that was that was pretty cool. I like the fact that it was the game so that they have like these special special tricks that they could pull or whatever. The style moves. Yeah, exactly. Um, It made it, it just made it different instead of, 
giant monsters slam dunking from full court. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm kind of with you. It was a little sluggish in the beginning. It still had moments that were great and funny, mm-hmm. but I felt like some of it, the opening montage was just a little long. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there were a few little moments just throughout, not a lot where it was just a little too emotional. Like, yeah, I they didn't, didn't see that a lot. Actually, it, it wasn't terrible. It's just, they didn't really sprinkle those moments evenly through it. Right. So you had some sincerity at the very beginning. And then you had a little bit of the too much right before the basketball game. And that was really it. Yeah. You know, when it's LeBron, he he talks a lot about his family and his kid and stuff like that. But it's when they brought in the wife and she seemed to have all these ideas. And then she made a suggestion and that wouldn't work. And then she was just like, well, you're just going to have to win this game. Like, oh, well, yeah, that's the whole <laughs> point of this movie. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. When I also laughed out loud at this movie. At that line. Yeah. But that was really the one part that I just was like, no. Bron James, you have to win this game. No kidding. It is <laughs> well, the literal yeah. premise of this entire movie. <laughs> Everyone here knows this. Yeah, I think it would have been much better if the line was get your family back. You know, just something yeah. easy that's like <laughs> not not completely on the nose. <laughs> right. It was really obvious. Or even with some of the other lines that she had had, you know, that he's my son, he better see me. Yeah. yeah. She, she could have had something a little more sarcastic or snappy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just like, well, yeah, you're just going to have to win it. So yeah. go <laughs> do it now. Just something. I think that would have kept it a little bit more in character. Yeah. Yeah. Because to me, she didn't feel like the, the Bron, sappy. I have a roast in the oven. You better win this game. <laughs> LeBron James, you better go do what makes the movie happen. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like it, that. Honestly, it would have been fine to have something <laughs> like that. Who are you talking to? No one. Well, I mean, it was kind of meta whenever the uh, algae rhythm was pitching his concept for the digital LeBron James. You know, yeah. and he turns it down because basketball players and movies ne- is never or never works out well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There Which were enough funny. other jokes that things like that could have fit really well. It yeah. just yeah. they went for the sincerity and it I don't think it was the right choice here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they it had lots of it had lots of funny moments, lots of funny lines. But oh, yeah, there yeah. were just some things that were like, Meh. come on. They did, like in the beginning when he dabs. Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was super funny. That was mm-hmm. hilarious. That was, as I said, because I don't know LeBron James, so that moment was the first moment that it's like, oh, okay, so he's actually like a pretty normal human being. He's going to make fun of himself a little bit, so this is okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dad, don't dab. What, he what was that? Himself, like, too seriously. Say dad dab? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, He's yeah, so it was bad hilarious. At it. It's great. It was hilarious. Yeah. Lots of those. Uh, yeah, so I think <clears throat> for me anyway, this movie was it wasn't it was a little bit better than middle of the road. Yeah. It wasn't a I great it a movie. Good, like, I think 6. it was like 6.5 7 maybe if I'm feeling generous. Yeah, that's fair. I think I think that's fair. Yeah, it's not something that I'll probably watch with any frequency, but I can definitely see coming across it sometime and being like, oh, hey, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, we could watch that again. Watch this. This looks like fun. I was entertained. I'll say that. Yeah, I was entertained. Mostly. (laughs) Mostly. I was more (laughs) entertained than I expected. Yeah. I think that's, I was going to say, I think that's where we're all sitting at on this is that it, it beat our expectations. Which for me were terribly low, so I had, not hard to do. 
I had decent expectations. They weren't terribly low. They certainly weren't high. Um, which is probably why I think it's better than middle of the road because my expectations were middle of the road. Yeah. And it beat Fair. that. So <laughs> so I got to give it something, right? Happy surprise. Well, let's talk about our favorite scenes. Okay. Let's do it. All yes. right. Anybody want to go first? or Sure, I'll go first because mine okay. is super short and I don't really have... I don't have anything I mean, I think to in a movie like it. this, that's going to be the case for most of us, probably. Yeah. I, and there's nothing really for me to say about it. I just really enjoyed when the notorious P.I.G. came out oh and did God. his and did his rap. That was pretty uh, good. I thought it was hilarious. We all knew that was going to be Daniel's favorite moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it was. I. It was weird because it was, you know, in the middle of this basketball game. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but he got points for it, you know. So cool. It I counts. Just, yeah, I just points. thought it was. I just thought it was funny and kind of clever. Yeah, notorious pig. The rap was amazing, and <laughs> the was. way that he started it, like beatboxing from a stutter. It's <laughs> it's so perfect. It was a moment of genius, and. They did a good job on it. I was impressed. Yep. It could have that was another one of those moments that could have been really cringy. Could have been really it. cringy. <laughs> yeah. It could have been real bad. But yeah, no, as soon as it was over, I was like, well, that's my favorite scene. That's my favorite scene. That's <laughs> you know what I'm picking. Yeah. I'm not surprised. That was yeah. a good one. It was good. So that was it. Very it's just good fun. One. That was a good one, yeah. Who's next? Who's next? I uh, okay. I'll go next. Okay. Okay. Um, we kind of talked about one of my run, my, my closest runner up, which is the Michael Jordan one. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like that moment a lot, but the it's my favorite has to be the montage when they're actually getting the team together and the way that they integrate the tunes into famous Warner brother movies. I just absolutely loved from having Yosemite Sam in Casablanca to Uh having granny as Trinity in the matrix. (laughs) And I loved it. The Wiley coyote in Mad Max Fury road is one of my favorite things ever. Like I've never been the kind of person who wants Warner brother material, but I want that as like my wallpaper for my computer now. (laughs) <laughs> that yeah. is just my favorite thing in the entire world now yeah i'm like great. i'm 100 percent with you that was my I favorite see scene a serious mad max movie where wiley e. coyote is just a character <laughs> and nobody ever brings it up he's just in the background no prominent character oh <laughs> nobody mentions that he's a cartoon yeah. Nobody. It's like he's just another human being. <laughs> they can't. Uh, talk. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. No, I that was my favorite as well. The whole montage. Really? It was all of it. It was seeing them in, you know, Superman at the beginning, and yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. see, you see the Justice League, and, and then you see them all the way up on into Wonder Woman. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you know, even that, which could be its own separate scene it was really fun to see lola bunny do the whole (laughs) wonder woman coming of age ritual yeah it was just i really liked the fact i really liked how that was animated i'm glad that they have the different styles and it was so cool and yeah seeing him in all the movies the mad max was by far my favorite it was just so funny and to me it felt like such a good and such a weird pick along with the matrix Mm-hmm. Because again, those are things that most kids watching this movie probably won't recognize, right? Because they probably aren't the right age to have seen these things yet, right? But as far as being a little well, older, Casablanca, I'm pretty sure they're not going to recognize that either. Or being, right? <laughs> yeah. or being a parent, you would have seen these, and so it's like this fun little moment just for you to get mm-hmm. you through this kids' movie. Because right. thank you, You're spending your money with Warner Brothers, but. I yeah, I enjoyed the whole thing. It was fun. It was yeah. fun. It was it kind of well animated. That that portion of it kind of reminds me of um, Shrek, where it's like it's a cartoon, but it's got it's got like these 
hidden Adult things references. that are for for adults. Yeah. You know what else got layers? Parfaits got layers. <laughs> a child has no idea what a parfait is. Right. <laughs> Fancy little French child, but <laughs> yes, fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, so just just those little things. I appreciate those things in in cartoons that are. This isn't really like a, a little little kids movie. I, I think a I think a very little kid would watch it and enjoy it. But it's got themes but not that get like uh, early teens would really understand yeah. and, and probably uh, empathize with and identify with. Yeah, agreed. So, you know, having as a parent, you know, you got to you got to sit down with your kids and watch it or take them to see it or whatever. Having those things in there is to me is like probably if I were a parent would be the biggest relief. I watch movies because I like movies. So unfortunately, I watch stuff that I'm like, yeah, I'm watching a kid's movie. And I (laughs) I did have this movie recommended to me by two people. Who were both parents? Who have kids? Yeah. One of them said they'd seen it four times in one week. Jeez. Oh my god. Because their kid was obsessed. I can't do that, but. <laughs> but no, they actually both have little kids. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, I agree with All right, you. All right. Well, Good that choices. is our. Yeah, there's our coverage of Space Jam. Anything else we want to hit before we sign off? No. Nope. Don't think so. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed our coverage. If you did, then please go online and like and subscribe. But more importantly, join us next time on Were You Not Entertained?